Hey guys, this is Dr. Sandy with another motivating educational video talking about how you, your family and friends can have better health. We're going to talk about the benefits of walking today. If you're new to these videos, thank you so much for watching. If you've been watching for some time, thank you for your continued support. As you're watching this video, if you're getting value, please like, share and subscribe and let's talk about the benefits of walking. So what's amazing is looking at the research with walking. Here's the amazing thing. It's free. You can do it anywhere. You don't need special equipment. I mean, it's amazing and the benefits are just exponential. So if we look at it, it really does help with quality of life. I'm going to get into the details with that. Um, and the other thing it seems to show in the research, you're going to have a better quality of life. And statistically, it seems like things are in your favor. The more you walk, the more you're moving, you're actually going to live longer. And to me, sign me up. I, I'm into that as well. So let's get into specifics. Now, we always think of walking. We can associate it with things like, you know, uh, controlling weight. Uh, being healthy and active and that kind of makes sense but what's amazing is in the research we're actually finding it's good for the brain so we are literally talking about better emotional well-being we're finding better focus concentration there is more oxygen there is more input going into the brain when we go for a walk so obviously that's going to be a positive and obviously as people get older brain health becomes a big issue so we want to do everything in our uh, power to make sure we are getting the best brain health possible. So walking is one of those tools that you can uh, definitely use on a regular basis. It is good for your lungs. It's good for heart, your cardiovascular system. It helps with blood pressure, keeping it regulated. It helps with blood sugar. It helps with digestive um, issues. Um, it is also very, very good for all the joints in the body. Obviously more of the joints when you're walking. Um, that would be things like the ankles, the knees, hips, the spine for sure, uh, muscles as well. I'm telling you as a chiropractor, I would tell you this as well. Um, exercise, that motion, walking. What I like about walking, it's not hard on the body. Uh, like I said, most people can do it who are in generally good health. Um, and it's so beneficial. It's, it's literally a positive input. It's good for the body. And if you want to have a healthy spine, walking on a regular basis should be part of your program for sure. Now, what is the kind of target you should be shooting for? So as I make this video, uh, obviously this video, I'm making it in Canada. Um, the weather here can fluctuate, it can be beautiful, and then sometimes our winters can be harsh, it can rain, and we go through all the major seasons. Sometimes it feels like in one week. Um, but what I would say to you is that have a reasonable goal. I would say 30 minutes, uh, five days a week would be a, a reasonable goal to uh, walk, have that walking schedule. Always the golden rule I tell all my patients, see what works for you. So if you're, you're at a point, maybe you're um, just too much pain in the body and you can only do five minutes, I'll take that. And then you got to be strategic. Maybe you're going through something and you're recovering. Maybe do a 15 minute walk in the morning and a 15 minute walk in the night. You know, I can't do five days, Dr. Sandy, no problem. Do three days, do two days, do some kind of motion. The other thing that also becomes a big issue is the weather, as I mentioned. So if the weather's nice outside, there's no problem, but if it's raining and it's snowing and it's freezing, walk inside the house, walk in the basement, walk in your bedroom. I would put something on YouTube. You know, I, I'm a big music lover. Uh, so put on your favorite song and just walk on the spot. I mean, there's really no excuse not to walk. Another thing I want to address, sometimes I have patients that go, well, I have a busy job and I'm walking, which is great. I mean, you're physically moving, but there's something special I would say about having that. And then after work, just going for a 20, 30 minute walk, it just really relaxes the system. You're outside getting that fresh air. It's very beneficial. So I would say if you can, and it's viable, walking outside will always be more beneficial than walking inside. So just something to consider, but ultimately if the weather's bad, Walking inside uh, would obviously make sense. Um, again, the rule with anything, whether it's an exercise, whether it's walking, running, or whatever exercise you want to do, you always remember this principle, and this will save you so much um, health issues, challenges, and damage to the body. Always remember you should feel comfortable. You should feel refreshed. You know when you have a good workout. When you're done, you're refreshed. You're almost like, wow, I can't wait to do that tomorrow. Um, I think sometimes in our culture, we're like, you know, my body should fall apart and I'm, I got to be in tons of pain to know I had a workout. Uh, I am not going to support that at all. I think the body is wise. It has a lot of wisdom. It's giving you feedback. So when you feel pain, that's your body saying, you know, back off, you know, take it easy. You're, you're pushing too hard. Um, so that I think walking that way is very safe for most people. Again, 
um, it's it's amazing. It's really good, easy on the body. And uh, again, as I would say to you, what's so beneficial, we can do it anywhere, it's free and you don't need any equipment. The other thing you may want to do as well, as I said, if you're home, you can have some music on. Um, if you wish as well, um, if you feel like walking might be a little too easy, so I'm talking to people who are in better health now and good joint health and things like that, you may want to do a brisk walk, but you're also maybe doing um, a jog. Uh, if that's something else that would be even more advanced, but I would say just fundamentally even making time for a walk, especially if you're listening to this and maybe you are um, a professional who's sitting all day in front of their computer, if you are a truck driver, things like that, uh, any job where especially you're mostly not moving and sitting, this is critical. And you can get into other type of more sophisticated exercise, but let's just get back to the basics. The research is so powerful. Um, it was so inspiring to even read the research and we should all be doing this. And by the way, the, this exercise, the walking thing, that's for the rest of your life. Whatever works for you, you may have to scale back a bit, maybe as you turn much, much older, but it's something you should be doing on a regular basis. When they've looked at populations where people are living healthy and long, they are in motion. The goal of our clinic is to keep your spine in motion so your life is in motion. If your spine and nervous system is healthy, the body's going to be healthy. Healthy people are moving. That is a sign of vitality, energy, and life. Life is supposed to be in motion. When things stop moving, that's when problems develop. That's when sickness comes into the body. So remember this principle. Life is motion. Health is motion. If you're moving, if the body's moving, if things are circulating, things are moving the way they should, you'll have better health. But when things stop moving, things break down. So you deserve the best. Again, if you uh, really enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to be putting up a new video every Monday on YouTube under PowerFlow Chiropractic. I have lots of other videos, a lot of other health tips under PowerFlow Chiropractic on YouTube. Thank you for your time. I wish you only amazing health for you, your family, and your friends, and God bless you.